you have to use your energies wisely, you will develop so much of personal power within yourself. You walk like a king because the power within you makes you walk like that. How far uh, a human being goes in this life, materially, spiritually or in whatever dimension, essentially depends on with how much energy he can crackle. <laughs> yes. <laughs> There are a whole lot of people with lots of energy, but there is no wisdom or the necessary systems within themselves to transform this energy into a kind of a personal power. Power is not about somebody else, power is about you. How much of a potential power you are determines the intensity and profoundness of your life and how effective you will become in your life in whatever area we choose to operate. If this power has to come, you have to use your energies wisely. Energy can be aggregated into power with the necessary wisdom and necessary tools that we employ. Otherwise, energy can be dissipated simply with endless amount of thought, endless amount of reactions and anxieties. I want you to observe your day-to-day -day life, a simple thing. Just let's say, how many… how many words do you utter in a day? You never count it. Oh, you should. <laughs> you should. <laughs> Just make an estimate tomorrow, from morning to night, how many words you utter. Day after tomorrow, cut it by fifty percent and say the same things. You're not cutting off communication with people. You're still communicating, but with fifty percent of the words, your language skills will improve for sure and you will see, you will develop so much of personal power within yourself. See, there is uh, scientific evidence to show at least twenty percent of your energy right now, as you sit here in a restful state, is being consumed by your brain. If you bring this down, that your brain is not unnecessarily fluctuating and, you know, hopping mad <laughs> all the time. If it learns to still be still and do only what's needed, an enormous sense of personal power will develop. You can't do this with your mind right now. If you try to stop it, it'll hop even more crazy. At least do it with your body. Your words and your physical movements, Reduce it by fifty percent. If you want to look at this, look at this, if you want to look at that, look at that, don't do this, this, this. With your body and your utterances, if you do this, slowly it will also start manifesting in your mind, it will not do unnecessary things. When you don't know unnecessary things, the energy that you have slowly transforms itself into potential power. So in developing this, the asanas that you practice, the Surya Namaskar that you do, if you're doing, or uh, whatever other kriyas and other things that you do, is essentially to develop this power. This should not be dissipated in unnecessary action. Right now you cannot curtail the number of thoughts you're having in your mind. That also can be, if you just bring in a reverberation within you, a simple mantra. If this is going away crazy, simply chant for some time, create a certain reverberation. You will see it will, it will generate enormous amount of personal power. Without this power within you, you will not break through dimensions of life. 
life uh, right now for most people, uh, divine is just a scriptural dictum. It is not a living experience in their life. If it has to become a living experience, if something as powerful as the creator has to come into your experience, there must be some sense of power within you. This must be always understood. Power is not about domination. Power is about becoming effective. Power is, become, is about becoming empowered. Only when you carry the potency of this power within you, you walk through this life, it doesn't matter where you are placed in the society, it doesn't matter financially where you are, materially where you are, you walk like a king because the power within you makes you walk like that.